Hey guys, Jack D. And basically, um, this recording didn't work last time, so I'm gonna have to do it again. And I'm gonna do some Young George Foreman gameplay. And I, I've done it three times before, it hasn't worked, hopefully this time it will, and I think it will, because I've fixed it now. Good song this, and um, basically, where George Foreman, Young George Foreman, isn't on YouTube on Fight Night when I've looked, so I'm going to make a video, and it's going to be against Tommy the Duke Morrison, and right there. I'll show his ratings off first. As you can see, his power is everything with George Foreman. It's all about power. You don't use anything else other than power and blocking and chin. That's it. You, you can't use your head. You can't use head uh, head move. Yeah, like head movement, speed, punching, and all that. You need to just use power. Um, and of course, his strength. He's the strongest in the game. No one's stronger than George Foreman. Young George Foreman, anyway. Wait a minute. As you can see, his range overall is 85. Uh, I think it should be a bit higher because, well, I don't think he's. I think he's. A, I think he's a better boxer than Mike Tyson, and I mean, he's, he's rated down. He beat Joe Fraser, and Joe Fraser's only rated uh, rated at 88. So I mean, yeah. Oh, that's not the right one. There he is. As you can see, that uh, George Foreman, the old George Foreman, um, he he's not as strong as this George Foreman. He's not as uh, he's just not as strong. Oh, um, as you can see, he's stronger than Joe Fraser. Blah blah blah. And I'm going to be fighting Tommy the Duke Morrison. Um, basically, as a George Foreman follower, and on this I play as George Foreman. And basically, what you your strategy to fight other boxers is power. Uh, you basically want to end it quickly. You want to end it in the first, second, or third round. You don't want it to go the di distance. Uh, if you do go the different distance, you may not do well. Basically because George Foreman went the distance with Muhammad Ali and of course Muhammad Ali won that match. But when he went against Joe Fraser, uh, he got, Joe Fraser got beat. He got knocked down in the first round. Um, it was an upset. Look, everyone thought Joe Fraser was going to beat him, but of course George uh, will not beat him. He thought he was going to be a bit of a better fight, but George Foreman dominated, knocked him down about eight times. That's what you want to do with George Foreman. You want to use your power. You don't want to go the distance with a fast boxer. Um, as you can see, George Foreman's orthodox. He fights with his right hand back. Uh, he, George Foreman also has good reach. Very good reach. He hasn't got the best punch, uh, punch accuracy, uh, George Foreman. He's got good chin. Uh, Jesus Christ. He's supposed to have a good chin, but. Basically, when it comes to power and blocking, blocking doesn't beat power. 
Power, George Foreman's power easily gets through the blocking, but the reason it didn't there basically because he had a lot of health still there. And yeah, basically when the health's fully down and he's in that state, it's an easy way to be. Um, power, like I said, George Foreman. If you went, even if you went to about round five, you you would just have to try and get a big shot and get the knockout. You can't go the distance. You need to just get the knockout with the power puncher like George Foreman. Um, he's not the best boxer, George Foreman. He uh, on this game. Uh, like I said, he was under. I think he's underrated in this game. He's a lot better. Should be. Morrison's on the heels of that knockdown he suffered, and right now he's in the arms of his opponent. He's just looking to clinch. Yeah, that's what he's doing. He's looking to clinch. He's looking to clutch. He's looking to hug the guy. You know, he's looking to make sure that he's still here when this bell rings. Um. As you can see, stamina drains really fast when you're a power puncher like Foreman. Uh, you, you, but that's all right. You need to use the power, and if you don't, you, you, it's harder to win. You don't want to keep the, you, 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 even if, if you go the distance by any chance, and you, you want to save up the stamina because uh, you don't want to just use the door. <laughs> As you can see there, I mean, power just comes out of anywhere with peak power punches. You can't really do that with the the speed people it's a lot it comes a lot more frequent with power punches that without them going into a day state and Trying to throw the big right hand didn't work there. Eh? Round comes to an end. Foreman's momentum now could carry things. That was a strong round scoring that knockdown. Morrison's offense has completely gone. There we go. That's the big right hand. He was hurt earlier, and now all he's doing is worried about what could be coming to get him again. Yeah, he was on the highway earlier, going about 90, and now there all of a go. sudden he's taking those back roads, going about 20. How long until the police catch up to him, or his opponent pulls him over? Um, I'm just trying to end this fight. You know, like I said, you don't want to go in the distance. But Morrison, Tommy Morrison, is also a more of a power puncher. How about that left right there? Look at that. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. The big right hand, right there. Boom. Uh, you don't want to get hit by Foreman's big right hand. Uh, it will kill you. <laughs> it's over. The fight is over. Foreman's bombs are Like I said, the best thing with power punching, the, 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 you get more likely get a, to get a knockdown more frequently. This George Foreman's a lot better than the other one because uh, he's of course more powerful. Uh, looks better he is better that's what you can't say so thanks for the, that's really the end of the video George Foreman young George excuse me young George Foreman gave play um, like I said it's all if you want any advice and if you don't have, have George Foreman the reason why I've got him is because uh, play.com I uh, ordered it off that and I got him with that specifically because of your George Foreman. And I don't know, I don't think, you, can you get it on, I'm not sure if you can get it on the PlayStation Store, I don't think you can. But he's not the best boxer, let me put it that way. It's not, you're not missing out on a lot. I mean, he's like I said, he's the strongest on the game. But, I mean, if I fought as Muhammad Ali against George Foreman, it would be a walk in the park for me to beat him. Just basically because George Foreman in this game is not very good, I'll put it that way, and basically that's it.
George Foreman isn't really the best in this game. Uh, he's like I said, he's underrated. So anyway, that's about it. George Foreman. Excuse me, young George Foreman. Uh, so I'm gonna end the video now. Um, if you want any more videos of uh, Fight Night Champion, I have the, uh, I've got the all the game modes. I've got the bare knuckle fighting game mode. I've got Rocky Marciano. Uh, I've got other boxes as well. So if you want any, uh, put anything on. I'll do it. So uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.